What's up, everybody? It's your host, Jamar Rashun of TTG For Real Film Room. I'm a former Division I defensive back that likes to break down film. Today's featured athlete is CJ Anderson. He was a semi-bright spot in the very dimmed Broncos offense. Very mediocre. He had a lot of short yardage runs, so instead of doing that, I decided to show his strengths that a lot of people don't know about. Let's check the film out. He catches the ball quite well, and he's a tough bowling ball runner. 10 personnel, the Broncos see at the middle of the field is wide open, so they try to get him with the play action slip screen, and he does just that. He does a good job of just being very subtle and getting upfield. 12 personnel play action flood concept um, through the running back out the backfield. Simeon does a good job of looking Jalen Smith off to make him drift to the right, and then he checks it down to the left. Trips tight open. CJ does a reverse angle route. Look at that. He had Heath all on the ground, and CJ, he just does the rest to get in the end zone. 10 personnel, the Broncos catch the Cowboys doing a twist stunt, which leads the C-gap wide open. The Broncos had a perfect play call, which, which was the slip screen, and now CJ just catches the ball for a 25-yard game. That's what you like to see. 11 personnel with the guard and the tight end pulling. It's a counter. Look at CJ. He hits that B-gap so damn smooth, it don't make no sense, and he died for the power line for the TD. Twenty-two personnel halfback counter with a guard and a fullback leading in the B gap. Martel Spate, number fifty, is the reason why this play worked. He didn't stay in his gap and he wasn't responsible. But hey, the Broncos took advantage of it because that's their favorite play. Believe it or not. Thirteen personnel. This is my favorite play. This is a split divide zone. But watch this H back, which is another word for the tight end. He's going to come all the way to the B gap. Boop! get a hold of the db and now cj just runs through it he is so patient 11 personnel 24 lead with the guard garcia pulling so garcia is the main reason why this play worked look at this boop oh my god he said smithson get in that weight room big fella 12 personnel, 21 dive through the A-gap. He really impressed me with his vision right here and his split decision making. And he switches the ball to his right hand for ball security purposes. Coaches love to see that, man. He's going to play in the league for a long time just because he's very, very smart. Although he might not, you know, wow you, he's smart, man. And smart players, they last longer. Remember, I told you that. 21 personnel, traditional weak eye formation, fullback lead. Really is a stretch. He stretches through the D-gap, you know, and just runs and finishes his runs quite well. 11 personnel, another concept of zone scheme, but this time the guard and the center is pulling with the left tackle. He's going to crack block the defensive tackle, boop, as you can see, and boom, he just opens up that lane for CJ to run through, and he is low to the ground, so he's very hard to bring down, as you guys can see. 11 personnel, nothing fancy. I know you see what I see, so I'm assuming that it's a 20 halfback dive through the A-gap. Hey, we were correct. Simple, nothing fancy. Get a ball to him. Let the big fella get in there. Good job with the chip block on Dunlap to slow him down. Now he's just a check down player. He gets upfield and get more than enough for the first down. 21 personnel, play action, flood concept, clear out with the running back doing a flare out. CJ, he does a good job of catching the ball and whoop, whoop, he splits the defenders. Come on now. This guy can really ball and he got some very soft hands. Soft like baby tissue. <laughs> I said soft like baby tissue. 11 personnel split divide zone was the call, but this is where CJ just took over and used his God-given ability and his vision. And he cuts back through the through this, through this the B gap, but even better job by the seal block from my guy, Garcia. And CJ just, man, just being an athlete. The top receiver, Emmanuel Sanders, is going to run a post. Virgil Green is going to run a corner. And CJ Anderson is going to run a T-flat flip flare out. Catches the ball. He almost got in the power line to get to the end zone. 
Hey, there you guys have it. CJ Anderson, very smooth. He reminds me of Jerome Bettis. Don't quote me on that, but he reminds me of Jerome Bettis because he is low to the ground like a roly-poly, and he is hard to get down. If you like my work, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and email me if you need work done. If you like the overall video in my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It's free. F-R-E-E. -E. Jamar Rashawn, signing out. Peace and light.